Welcome to part two of our Quebec trip. Today we visit the lower part of historic Quebec City, specifically Place Royale and all its quaint shops. It's a short ferry ride across the St. Lawrence River from Levis, and it drops you off right at Place Royale. Place Royale is located in Basseville, or the lower town of Quebec City. It's the site where French explorer Champlain built a fort on the banks of the St. Lawrence. While walking around the lower city, always keep in mind to look up occasionally because you never know what you're going to miss. It really feels like you're stepping back in time. You're surrounded by 16th century buildings and walking along cobblestone streets. Here's the first section of the L'Escalier de Cascou, or breakneck stairs. To avoid those 170 stairs, you could always take the funiculaire. This is Rue de Petit Champlain, the oldest street in the province of Quebec. It's said to be the very first commercial district in all of North America. Today, it's a bustling tourist area with boutiques, restaurants, bars, cafes, and trendy shops. We recommend that you come early in the day to avoid the crowds. I love the clay pots on this restaurant's facade. The Kushan Donga, or Crazy Pig Restaurant, is well known for its Parisian cuisine. This is Felix Leclerc Park. He was a singer-poet from Quebec. The commemorative sculpture was done by Helene Rocher in 1997. It's made of solid aluminum. This park is a great place to take a break and indulge in some people watching. The shop had a great selection of ciders, vinegars, jams, crackers, and free samples. Lamas and pajamas. All the clothing in this store is made from alpaca fur, but it's not cheap. This mural, La Fresque de Petit Champlain, illustrates how people made a living in the 1600s. Here's the Rue Sous Le Fort, where there are lots of souvenir stores where you can pop in and pick up a t-shirt, mugs, or other Quebec mementos. The sand sculpture was done by Michel Lepere. He also does chainsaw carving in wood and ice sculptures as well. Check out his website for lots of photos of his previous work. There's the Chateau Frontenac. It's everywhere you look in Lower Quebec. Wouldn't it be cool living in an old Quebec city above some of these shops? A short walk up this hill is Rue Saint-Pierre, where there are more restaurants, cafes, and lots of private residences too. Souvenir shops have a lot of character that encourage you to enter. This is UNESCO Park celebrating the culture of New France. This square is the very heart of Place Royale. In the center is a bust of French monarch, King Louis XIV. This is one of the oldest churches in North America, built in 1687. Sadly, it was closed the day of our visit. 
the houses that encircle this cobblestone square have European-style roofs and dormer windows that were once the homes of wealthy merchants. My first view of the Frasque des Québécois literally took my breath away. It was the highlight of Place Royale for me. It's a three-dimensional city landscape featuring landmarks and figures of Quebec's history. It was completed in October 1999 and serves as an important icon of Quebec's cultural identity. You really need to see this in person to fully appreciate it. Here's some of the sights and sounds of the afternoon. Join us in our next video when we explore Upper Quebec City. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to see future videos. Thanks for watching!